media days here and you know in the next next week we check in right right in camp you know the um, summer workouts is over with and we just gotta put all them pieces together and see what it comes about in camp some workouts were great you know new strength coach you know um the tennis was high we had a lot of guys here um all working out was bonded together you know spending that time we, while we can you know while the coach is not allowed to be with us you know we do what we can to try and get ahead before camp actually get there so when camp comes we'll already be a step ahead definitely going to motivate the team. Uh, 10 is just really low, we feel like. Uh, last year we were kind of a young team. This year we have a lot of uh, veteran leadership. Um, really taking uh, um, everyone is on board approach this year, um, from seniors leading to all the way down to the freshmen leading. Uh, it's top to bottom. Been a little bit of conversation of uh, potential versus execution and we have shown them a reason to pick us there we have shown ourselves a reason not to be there um, one's a lot stronger than the other and our guys really want to put a football helmet on again really want to put a football helmet on second best offseason I've been around since I've been back uh, best attended summer that I've ever been involved in in any way, shape, or form in all my time associated with this school. And it's not because I put a hammer down. It's because they want it. They, they understand. They, they've already gone through their little segue of, I'm going to do it my way. And they realize that doesn't work. And there's a, there's a blueprint for success. And instead of fighting it, not only are they reading it and following it, they're teaching it and preaching it that I got the young guys in here and the old guys are meeting with them twice a week having position meetings without coaches because they want the young guys to contribute to their success.